brief history of the Harvey House. Well, this is Barstow's fourth Harvey House. Uh, the last one before this one burnt down in 1908. So this magnificent building replaced that one in 1911. And a kind of fun thing we talk about is to, so when it burned down again, there's barely little wood in here. It's all brick, masonry structure, concrete stuff. That's not going to happen again. Uh, it opened with very little fanfare in February 22nd of 1911. Um, no big ceremony, no big celebration. We can't find invitations or anything. Just opened. And it served many, many passengers. There were eight platforms along the side of the tracks over here. And you'd have the Grand Canyon Limited, the California Limited, the City of Los Angeles, the City of San Francisco would all come through here as they go east and west and offload passengers. And they can rest their weary feet here, go to the dining rooms, uh, enjoy a game of pool. Uh, there was a swimming pool, have ice cream, uh, chat with other guests. And so it was uh, interesting aspects in that aspect that served leisure travel. And then as the war came, World War I, World War II, actually World War II, uh, it served more the troops. Uh, they took out a lot of the amenities, the frills, and made more beds available for the railroad crews to sleep in, uh, get rid of the swimming pool, uh, had to close the dining room for a little while, and so it gave some really tough times during the war period to help with the troop efforts and like So kind of saw the service standards decline from then on, unfortunately. I'd say the main things is what still exists that's original. Um, the flooring was terrazzo floor, it was poured on the side, it's about three feet thick from the basement up. Uh, the original copper fixtures are still here. Uh, we have the original staircase, the original woodwork, um, little hints here and there um, of pieces of memorabilia that we see people bring in um, showing. This is the silverware that was used here. We have some items of those. But I think the key distinguishing feature that um, separates this one from the rest is its look. It's somewhat more um, dramatic being here. A lot of the ones back in the Southwest have like an Adobe Native American style. They're very beautiful, but this one seems to be a little more interesting in its architectural aspects. Um, and the fact that it was built towards later in the system, it was built 10 years after Fred Harvey passed away while some of the other ones were built beforehand, so. My favorite thing about the Harvey House is the history of the building. Uh, it's a privilege to work in this building. You get a special feeling when you come to the door every day. You know that a lot of people have been through here, had a lot of memories made. I hear about people come and tell us the stories about their grandparents that worked here. And so that's a definite emotional connection to a building which sounds strange, especially an old building, but that seeing so many people, people live their lives, they met their husbands and wives, their grandfather worked here, and so you get more of the family aspect and the human aspect, and that's a very special problem. That's a very privileged thing to actually work in and preserve and actually uh, educate everyone else about. So that seems to be kind of like a a duty in a way to inform everyone about what its impact was on people's lives. Definitely we uh, unique would be the big windows. Um, we get a lot of comments how nice the huge windows look. Um, it sucks for people to clean the windows because if you clean the front and both front and back or the front portion that's 2200 window panes. So. Um, that's a lot, but um, yeah, they're, the windows are like the soul. They they're like they leave the light into the building. It's so, you know they're eight feet tall. So they're pretty cool and I'd say that's a neat aspect. The windows, um, the fact that you can situate it as looks like a train station in the lobby, but it can be a hotel lobby upstairs. There's rooms so you can do it hotel rooms or apartments, or it could be even classrooms. Um, we have two rooms that are used as uh, ballrooms, like a dining room. Restaurants or just general um, waiting areas. So there's a lot of flexibility, and given the layout of the building, allows you to make it really as anything you want. You can put up in one of the ballrooms, put up a nice little curtain, table, chairs, look, make it look like a table setting in a restaurant when everything else around you is nothing there, but you can really define it out pretty nicely. That's cool. So there's these little spots that from different angles, look yeah, like different, different things. things. Just yeah. depends where the camera's going, where you want it to be. It can be really anything you want. To 